Now, we know that a planetarium offers you the opportunity to immerse yourself in stars, planets, constellations. It's also a great way to while away the school holidays productively and inspire a love of maths and science in a new generation. Well, the Cybono Discovery Center now has just upgraded to include a top-notch planetarium that seems to have got kids. And I think the big kids out there, as adults, very excited about the heavens. Take a look. When the sun sets, it makes way for a majestic night sky brilliantly lit by different stars and galaxies, which for so long have been a source of wonder and intrigue. And now, South African learners can become their own explorers by becoming immersed in space right here at the Cybona Discovery Center at the brand new planetarium. There was great excitement as the new planetarium at the Cybono Discovery Center in Newtown was launched by the Minister of Basic Education, Angie Mocheka, and Ambassador of the People's Republic of China in South Africa. Africa, Tian Xuzhan. Mr. Tlabana, it's so amazing that our children can now come and check out the solar system in a different way. Can you tell me about the educational development partnership between the South African and Chinese governments? South Africa and China have signed a cooperation agreement. And through this cooperation agreement, there are a number of deliverables, of which the planetarium is one of them that falls within a focus area of med science and technology and research and development. And what do you hope to achieve with this planetarium? Through this planetarium, students will be able to understand our universe and they'll be able to study the moon, the stars, our galaxy, the asteroids and the comets. And we are very confident that they'll be able to understand how all these impact on the mother planet, which is the Earth. It's important for our learners to begin to learn this and that they will develop interest in the study of astronomy and related fields. The purpose of the planetarium is to enhance science education by giving learners a fun and practical understanding of astronomy. It's a way of allowing people to see the skies and to understand the skies. It's about using technology to try and get people to see what's going on and to understand rather than to read and to try and understand from text. So it's a really great way for kids to get involved in understanding things. What I loved most about the planetarium was all the stars and how bright the moon was and all the pictures that you can make in the sky. I loved the zodiac signs. I never knew there were so many different types of signs in the sky. From the perspective of the Department of Basic Education, making celestial bodies and space science accessible to children will help them learn how space affects our planet and how it could affect their future. Science permeates every aspect of our lives. As a department, we will embark on initiatives of bringing about public awareness around the importance of science. Maybe I could become a scientist because I realized that it's very fascinating studying the stars. I would tell all my friends because it's very exciting and it's one in a lifetime opportunity. I think my friends should come and see this because the stars are so bright and it's like an adventure in the sky. It's awe-inspiring to get a chance to experience what we feel every single day from a much closer perspective. And whether you're young or old, the journey will only lead you to an appreciation of the planet that we call home and the celestial bodies that make it possible for us to wish upon a star.